All right, next in the VOD request channel is a silver one slash gold five somber request from Cha. Um, on PC, it says, never had a VOD review done before. So congratulations on your first one uh, from yours truly. My main issue I've noticed is when I run into comps of ball together and seem unkillable, unpushable. Uh, this happens during their second round attack, third point from my NV. I think I was too scared to try flank routes during that time for fear of getting picked due to all the spam. Um, for additional information, I do a queued with my Diamond 5 friend to try and get more consistent teams. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I don't know how well that works. Uh, I can, I could consistently climb to goal, but then play something like five wins, eight losses. And this has happened three times. Okay. Um, so once you get to gold it starts you start having a just below 50% win rate um, so there must be something between the two tiers that is obviously gatekeeping you a little bit but we can take a look and maybe try and diagnose exactly what that is um, considering you don't have any specific notes on what you may or may not be struggling with besides compositions that play well together to which i will say i will just reiterate uh three sort of play styles of sombra one being to um and i'll i won't curse i'll say hack tank um play on squishies or uh, farm ultimate, farm EMP. Now this one has been nerfed a little bit uh, since the recent uh, nerfs because she takes longer to charge ult and it also counters less with tree and stuff. Um, so it got a slight nerf in that regard. So this one is a bit more situational. But then you basically have these two priority uh or two primary sorry um play styles being either playing to hack the tank and whenever he goes in so this would be a decent option to take um just looking at this team comp on face value uh their backline is really hard to kill right um this is annoying uh hanzo is a scary person to duel in general plus he has sonic uh kirika has cleanse on anyone you hack anyway Ana has sleep there's a lot of cc a lot of uh, threatening abilities here, right? Um, but there is an option for this Ash. She's quite a diveable target because she uh, will look to split a lot of the time from her main stack to try and find picks under the back line. Uh, if she's, I mean, if she's doing her job correctly. Um, so, and she only has Coach Gun as an escape tool. Uh, she doesn't have really any one shots. So the dynamite doesn't help you help her a lot because you can just translocate away to cure the burning effect. So. Not a bad target, not a bad dive target. If you're going to play on squishies, this one is definitely the one to play on. Uh, otherwise, looking to hack um, either Kiriko once she's used some abilities, um, or Ana um, if she's ever not being helped by the Kiriko. So if you get her isolated and alone, then she's another decent target. Oops. Um, but because these three seem pretty unkillable, the better one is to, I think, just play to mess up the tank. And uh, Doomfist's obviously a super easy one to do that. You can constantly just wait for him to engage. When he does engage, you can uh, shoot him, decloak, shoot him. Um, he'll think that, you know, he's in trouble because it's a Sombra. He'll power block, and then you get a free hack and um, extra damage after you've already done some damage, and you'll hack him out of his power block so he doesn't get the effect of that. And he also won't have his abilities uh, while he's hacked, so. That's the way to stack it against him. Um, obviously, if you have EMP as well, you can go really hard on him and start off with a hack, make him use his power block, and the second he does, he EMP, you EMP him, and you probably just kill him. So, just to get that out of the way, now we can take a look at the gameplay, um, and we'll see, because at the moment, uh, you said it's more second round or something, where they uh, group up, but for the moment, a great one is um, hacking the tank. Now... Initially, this is just like going too early, or just like sort of rushing things, right? Um, 
this hack doesn't doesn't do a lot whereas you can just sort of like hesitate and i'll i'll leave you for a second while you're out anyway and just sit back here but uh what we we're talking about before the honor only peeled for the hunter because you hacked him whereas right now <laughs> even without this ability but you know, it does sort of help that it's here as well. That's going to help you. Uh, the second they've all cut LOS from the Ash, now's your time to go in and hack and try and pressure her out. Um, yeah, so just hesitating. Uh, a lot of teams will just think that spawn is safe, especially up to this point. They think they're only in danger once they're here. It's a great opportunity to capitalize on anyone who is uh, split, even if that was that she decided to go this staircase instead of with her team on this one. Uh, uh, which one are we? Oh, her one. That's easy. Nice hack. Kill the doom. Worried about taking spam, so we translocate out again. This is cool. I like throwing translocate out somewhere here. Um, purely because then it gives you the option. If you're f like pretty full health, you can just go up here. Also, you can throw it above um, and just let your supports heal you up. Um, but I get that like they're pretty much at the same spot, so you may as well just rely on the mega. Um, but I think putting it here or putting it on the stairs allows you like quick access to the high ground if you don't need to grab the mega and likewise quick access out this door or your own sort of off angle uh, later in the fight. I do think um, like heal pack runs are the traditional way to play Sombra but if you've watched anyone like Questron um, they're quite good at utilizing Translocator to its full effect, which can be a, um, a highly mobile tool for somebody to get around the map slash confirm kills or uh, follow up on damage from uh, enemies. Um, but this is obviously what we're talking about, about how it's those three are difficult to dive, right? You, you tried to hack the Kiri, she cleansed, and then, you know, in the same motion you got headshot by Hanzo. Um, the only error here is sort of when you went for this hack, you were out in no man's land, right? Um, if you're going to go for a play like this, then be hacking her from here. Be hugging this wall. Or um, even further, like here, right? And and hack her from behind, or hack the Hanzo, or hack the Ana and hug the wall from this side so you're cutting LOS to the Kiri Hanzo. Um, you need to make sure that the only place you're taking damage from is somewhere that you're also damaging. Um, because that makes it easier to understand your um, your time to kill, TTK, and also makes it easier to judge um, their TTK in terms of how quickly you need to translocate, uh, because it's always the unexpected amounts of damage that force you to wait too long and then get picked. Well, your team's going to get a little wiped here off some good picks from the Hanzo and a uh, good anti as well. Um, we're not in a position to recontest this, but we can then, if we're checking um, the playstyles off the list, uh, one being um, to hack the tank, two being to play on the squishies, three being to farm EMP. At the moment, we're not in a place to contest, we can't do this, um, or our team's not in a position to contest this, so getting a pick doesn't really matter. What could be a lot of value is just one playing to hack the tank, but also, in effect, you will do three by doing one. Uh, and part of that would be uncloaking and shooting here, uh, rather than going for the hack straight away. Again, trying to like bait him into using his power block, and then using hack, uh, because now he just gets the power block off for free. I like the translocator up to the high ground, we leave the translocator there. Not bad, but again, we're sort of playing angles wrong, positioning down main too often, or like too close to main, uh, which is resulting in the amount of spam, right? Um, if we want to go for the, if we're just sitting here charging ult, then that's unfortunate if that was the play, but I don't think it is. Um, slash she also just, you got to be careful with Hanzo, that's not really an option to uh, when Hanzo's alive, but instead uh, coming somewhere like here and then using this wall to cut a of these two and shooting this one, or recognizing that hey there's one on cart and going to duel her and really hugging this wall so that anyone who comes to help her has to really swing around this wall to actually see you um just because you have all this invisibility um doesn't mean you can abandon sort of dps fundamentals of utilizing cover to control los 
So at the moment there has been some, like we can make notes on playstyles and Sombra uh, specifics, but at the moment uh, so far it's it's just been sort of DPS fundamentals or, or Overwatch mechanics, uh, or, or Overwatch fundamentals um, that have let you down a bit. I think you could have gone for the hack there. Um, I don't mind that you didn't, um, but we also could stay a little bit longer. Um, we're playing a little bit scared. We're like really trigger happy with our Renzicator, um, to which I would say you will learn more about translocating out by limit testing how long you can stay, and that will lead to more deaths. So if it's if, even if you do it in quick play rather than comp, uh, so you're not worried about your rank or whatever, that's fine. Um, but really limit test how often because sometimes if you're using cover correctly say uh let's say let's say the ash was in here right on this mini and you found her from this angle and you hacked her and then you shot her and then she got a shot on you you don't actually have to translocate out you can just cut los turn back invisible and then run and get this mini and then you're still sort of in the fight rather than all the way out here right something like that that's just a rough example. Um, just because you need to get out doesn't mean you need to translocate out. Yeah, we're trying to wait for support healing there, I think. And this is sort of the issue. But also know your um your health packs. Um, I get you probably can't throw one in, on the Mega in here. Um, but maybe you can have your translocator here somewhere and then just quickly run and get this mini um, and then maybe get that one if you need it uh, or if you can't put it right on the mega then putting it somewhere close that you can get it on your way to the squishies if that makes sense um, your health pack doesn't your translocator doesn't have to be on a health pack for you to still have a health pack run um, and that gives you the option of i can run past the mega or if the supports heal me then i don't need to um, but it can just be sometimes a bit dodgy trying to rely on them. Solving the soldier. Now we stay on the Sombra. Did we just lose our EMP charge from doing that? And we only had 61. But still, that's unfortunate. <laughs> So was it, I just want to check, was it second round attack? Third point, okay. Well, we'll keep going through the VOD, but if we get close to running out of time, then I'll skip ahead to that moment so we can take a look at that specifically. And I know it's, I get it's scary, but if you're not feeling confident to duel him, then don't bother hacking him, just go for a different target. Because hacking him and not, like, trying to duel him actively only does something if you hack him and then stay in viz. And you're sort of just delaying when you actually uh, start shooting and, and using the hack damage. There's no use of translocator. And nice, good use of the playstyle to mess over the tank, right? It's a nice hack. Now, if you're going to hack and use that mega, I'd be throwing my translocator up on this high ground up here. Then again, you have access to the high ground. You can just sort of sit here and let your support to up, or you can drop and get mega. Um, you could throw it somewhere over here, I just think it makes you too far removed from the fight uh, if you need to. And again, same as translocating out, um, like translocator placement in general, you will learn more about how to use it and what limits you have on it by putting it in, you know, riskier places, but that have a greater potential of increasing your uptime. I'm trying to scout for you now, so... 
Yeah, and see, during, like, this is, that was a maybe 10 second rotation of the back line, and now it's going to be another 10, 15 seconds to get back in the fight. That's 25 seconds of no ultimate charge, really. Um, that's going to make it hard to climb. That's going to make it hard to climb for sure. If you're not able to get picks, and whether that's just because you aren't confident in uh, your matchups against heroes like Hanzo, um, or if it's just because you don't have any follow-up with you, like you're doing it alone, that's fine, but you still need to be able to um, be keeping up pace with EMP uh, and be staying ahead of it, because it's especially important when you're coming up against Lucius and and Zenyatas and uh, Life Weavers and stuff like that. You want to be trying to outpace them uh, in ult charge. That was an easy hack option. Was he already hacked? He was already hacked. Yeah, so a little bit of uh, matchup misplay in terms of Sombra into Doomfist as you really want to... It's a bit of a uh, mind game in terms of who uses hack or power block first. Pretty good hack, forced out, ult. Transigate away, throw it in spawn. Sometimes when the fight gets really close, and this was really common with 2CP and Overwatch 1, uh, just transigating in spawn gives you all your health back. Um, makes it easy. Be careful about it being broken right now. You could absolutely hack this Doom, shoot him, wait for him to power block, EMP him. Uh, Nano is going to save him regardless, but that would have been an opportunity to do what I was talking about earlier. And EMP, EMP is a great tool to use in combination with other things to go in, um, but it's equally great at solo killing people, and a lot of the time solo killing people has to do with punishing aggression. Uh, so if their doom overextends absolutely punish him um or if someone's completely isolated you can do it and a lot of the times it's a great tool to just solo kill a tank uh and end the team fight right then and there so i would have just done nothing in that situation i think just sit there you have ultimate you don't need to charge it you gotta your team gotta pick early um you don't need them scouting for you you can just sort of sit there and chill Sometimes doing less is more because you're not demanding any resources from your team and you're um, not letting yourself get forced out early. So you probably needed to wait for him to go in because you don't have a really mobile team comp uh, playing with a Ramatra. Different if you had a Doom of your own or a Monkey or a Ball or Diva or something, but uh, at the moment we sort of need to wait for him to actually commit and go in. Um... And then he could have hacked and then waited for his power block and EMP'd him. But he should be shooting. If he's going to scout, he should be scouting there, where you are right now. Let me uncloak. It's good. Don't translocate out. Just sit here. And shift. Let's go invis. Oh, we can... Yeah, yeah, keep going. Nice. Put Translocator on the stairs. You don't need to use it to EMP right now. Wait to touch. We're gonna get punished for our Translocator. Did we just forget? I think we just forgot that we didn't put it down. That's unfortunate. Uh, but when I said stairs before, I sort of meant um, in here. Alright, out of LOS, but still right next to the mini. Uh, and gives you rotation options if you want to grab the Mega and then have access to the back line. Um, I think no one's looking at you. I think you can just uncloak to contest cart when it gets to within a meter. Wait for the dragon to go and then EMP uh, more like now. But that's being pretty nitpicky about it. I don't think any, I don't think what you did was wrong. Just you could have been punished for the amount of damage that you took in that dragon. Flash if someone had a damage you while you were in it, the dragon could have just killed you. Um, 
but I think it's also just slightly too early for your team to follow up on. Like we talked about, you don't have a super mobile comp, so you really have to wait for the fight to kick off before you look for engages. Um, but I'll just skip ahead now to the second round attack, which I'm assuming... Did we just get the checkpoint then? No, it's been here for a while. So they're playing more grouped up. I see, they're playing a ramp composition as well. You've rolled them through this part of the map though, four minute time bank. Damn. Hard to dodge that spam, but this is good right now. Break our translocator and put it down. I'd be breaking our translocator. They're playing groups, hack the trance. They don't trance anyway. I think you mentioned from my own review I think I was too scared to try flank routes and getting picked so I'm assuming you mean like when they're spamming down here and you're scared of going here in case there's someone here just like to detect you or whatever um to which I say you only have to do this once to get through once you're through um then just put like you can even like sit in viz for a little bit and just study what they're doing all of them are positioning in main like there, there was a junk rat sort of playing in this space but besides that all of them are sitting in main which means you can just put your translocator up here or you can put it back here um it's really up to you in terms of how you view the map uh there's no such thing as like their side and our side where you need to put your translocator back on the high ground that you had it on um, once you got through the like have it as a backup but once you get through the the scary spam choke then you can definitely look for um a place to like to you can destroy it and then look for somewhere else to put it um also thinking about their heroes you know uh this comp does have like pretty mobile dps um uh, in terms of soldier can sprint and junkrat can use conk mine but it's not super important that they be on high ground or at least uh at this rank they're not prioritizing it very well so you can abuse that fact if they're not going to sit high ground then that's where my translocator is going to go every time or i just need to get around to here and then i can keep throwing it on this pillar and hack the mega um or throw it on the staircase even um you know the the, the map isn't isn't as linear as i here's the front line i can only put my translocator on this side of the map um you can put it wherever you want to and if you hack this mega uh they're less likely to want to play in here anyway uh, even if you don't use it you can still hack the megas um but yeah uh hopefully that made sense um i'm assuming you just stay on bastion now uh and i won't comment on that just because i don't want to overload you we talked a lot about uh, different sombra playstyles and comps and she is very much a hero that is about understanding um understanding team fights and and recognizing different situations because that affects who you hack um who you pressure um what you save alt for things like that where you rotate to what you do with your translocator um all sorts of stuff um but i guess just some final general sombra tips is to just again like we did at the start recognize who's annoying to dive so maybe in this composition it's uh one shot hero hero with uh a cc ability so if we go on her ideally we wait for her to use sleep um if we're not confident in dodging it um helix rocket does a lot of spam so maybe constantly pressuring up the moira to the point where she uses fade uh is getting a lot of value if not then we just play to focus the tank um and try and farm emp because the two sort of go hand in hand. The only difference is when you're like farming EMP, you just sit uncloaked and you just play as you would if you were a Cassidy, like just sitting with your team and, and spamming down main and cutting out the time it would take to rotate all the way around just to shoot a hacked target for 15 seconds. Um, so yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Um, that's the best advice I can give you for now based on your gameplay. Um, but also don't forget, don't abandon your mechanics uh, of DPS in general. Um, if you're trying to shoot this soldier 
then or this warrior sorry then you're using the wall to los the soldier as hard as you can uh likewise if you were trying to shoot the soldier he's in a bad spot right now but something like this right sit in here and just shoot the soldier and los those two or the other way um use this wall here to sort of los the soldier and shoot the moira things like that um but yeah i hope this helped um let me know if you have any questions and all the best to the games hope you do well